And so, again, yeah, my name's John. Um, I'm actually from uh, Warren here. I grew up, uh, graduated from Warren High School. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been doing uh, mortgage lending for about 11 years now. And so, uh, I've kind of seen a lot, you know, ups and downs, and just kind of, it's been interesting locally to see, you know, what's happened over that 11 years. And, and, uh, and I think, uh, you know, as everybody knows, now is just a, incredible time to take advantage of uh, the good deals and the low interest rates that are out there. Um, and so the big thing when it comes to uh, finding a house and securing uh, the financing is mortgages are like little mean puzzles, okay? And uh, it's very important to uh, plan, like do planning ahead of time so that way you know, you don't go out to fall in love with the house and, you know, you find out, you know, two weeks before you're getting ready to sign papers that payments are out of your budget, okay? So the big thing with me is I want to make sure that, number one, that we plan, you know, to, to stay within your budget, within your means, because the first thing that happens when you get into your house is, you know, you want to customize it, you want to make it your house. So, um, and that costs money, so we want to make sure that you know you have savings and that we kind of set things up, you know, right for you uh, through that planning phase. Um, and so, uh, Chris, can you speak to the? Uh, so this is one of the. Uh, this is basically something that I use with uh, all of my clients. Okay, and what this what this is is basically. It, dummy, it really makes the process very simple for you to understand what loans are available for you uh, and then also like the best loans that are available to you. And a lot of times when I do this for my client, I'm going to know which one's the best, but you know, the loan's not my loan. It's going to be the client's loan or the person that's looking at buying the house's loan. And so I want my client to be able to you know, sit down with their spouse and say, hey, Honey, Don said this one is the best, this is what I recommend. But at the same time, I don't want you to feel like I'm not showing you something that you might qualify for that could be better. Um, and so, basically, it's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. So you're going to have you know, the different loans, just basically side-by-side. -side. And here's, here's here, the, here, here are the monthly payments up here, you know, for, for each of the different loan options that you could potentially qualify for. So basically, it's very simple. That way, when you go out, uh, you know, looking at the houses, you're already going to know, basically, you know, within the 95 person, well, probably higher than that, you're going to know roughly what that payment's going to be. It's not going to change much. And uh, that way, the expectations can set up front um, with you. And so, uh, one other thing I'm just going to touch on is I don't, I don't want to take too much time here because we got other people, but one of the other really cool things uh, that, I, that a lot of uh, people that are buying houses don't really uh, understand is uh, when, you, when you actually purchase a property and own a home, you, you can potentially have some really good tax benefits and, uh, and interest deductions uh, by writing off mortgage interest. So when you go file taxes, Let's say your household yeah. income is, you know, thirty or forty thousand dollars. Okay, well, if you have a mortgage and you've made, you know, twelve payments on your house, uh, you know, those twelve payments will basically those interest payments a lot of times will count as a credit towards how much money you made that year and actually lower your taxable income. So. As you can see right here, this is something I, you know, obviously would do for, you know, for you, Taylor, is for instance, you know, right here, this shows, you know, somebody's renting, and this shows their rent payment, let's see, where does it go here? 1200 bucks. okay. So here's a $1,200 rent payment, okay, somebody's renting, okay. Here's basically, when, when I plug this information, it shows that this client is going to get a tax benefit of $263 
per month, uh, you know, by actually owning a home uh, and being able to write up that interest. So, for instance, it's kind of like you getting a raise of that same amount of money per month on your paycheck because now you're going to have uh, a lower taxable income bracket you're going to be in. So that's one of the things, you know, on the planning side that I think is really, you know, kind of an eye opener because it's like, okay, you buy a house actually, even though you're making a monthly payment, sometimes it's a little higher than your rent payment. But if you factor that in, uh, you know, a lot of people don't really see that. And so it ends up, you end up getting more money back on your refund, you know, 10 years without taxes. And uh, yeah, so it ends up working out really, really good. And so uh, try to make this very simple, uh, very, you know, easy to understand. Um, and then also, you know, it kind of shows you how you know how the loan is being paid down, and as the loan is being paid down, you're actually building equity in the property as the value of the house comes out. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's a little bit about uh, you know what I do, and uh, yeah, and, and uh, really appreciate everybody uh, coming out. And so I'll turn uh, that's all I have to basically touch on. So it was an awesome. Thank you so much.